Hello there. How we doing? We doing good? I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, OBS Streamlabs will all behave tonight. It's been misbehaving. It's been very naughty. It's been a naughty program. <laughs> it needs to be taught a lesson. And how to be good and behave itself. <laughs> But no, what's going on, everybody? We got Cavs Magic tonight. And I swear on everything, if we lose this freaking game to this bum-ass Magic team, who's clearly not playing for anything, they're not very good. I mean, uh, if we lose this game, we're cooked. <laughs> that just proves it. We're cooked. You know, we had a nice little run. You know, we were essentially a top five team. But then, you know, the injury bug did the Will Smith slap to us, you know. Like, the injury bug saw us succeeding, and it's like, we can't have that. No, no, it's too early for that. We can't have that. So what happens? Oh, you know, bam, spit, smacked us right in the face. Because, of course, I did. But, yeah, hopefully it'll behave itself. What's up, uh, Daniel Barry Rams official? What's going on? 2022 champs. Alright, so uh, we get another rookie on rookie matchup. Evan Mobley against Franz Wagner. I guess you could say the Wagners because there's two of them. My dogs are clearly excited about the matchup. My dogs always got to let their voices be heard, you know. And they always do that when I'm trying to do my thing here. So let me get the starting five for you. Now in the event that OBS decides to be a menace again and cut out, I would simply just uh, switch on over to regular OBS. What, Crazy Dog? You mean there's a different kind? Yeah, there's Streamlabs, which is the one I'm using, which has a little bit more bells and whistles. And then you have the regular, which is the one I've always used for so many uh, years. Past couple years, when I really started uh, getting into doing streaming. Of course, the OGs of the channel remember when I had no scoreboard, no background. All you saw was my camera. Yeah. I would just turn on YouTube thing, you know, and it has like a webcam feature. <clears throat> and I would just roll with that. And then I saw like, you know, Sports Fury and Roach and all them. They're using like backgrounds and, the, you know, the, the scoreboard feature thing up top. And I'm like, how the hell do you do that? So I did a little research on it, you know, watch YouTube videos like everyone does when they're trying to find out things. And I started to do the full camera with the scoreboard. And then, as you saw, was it last year, I upgraded essentially to backgrounds. Now my next uh, objective is to get, me a, get myself a damn green screen so you don't see my freaking awkward window over my wall and stuff. It'll just be my face and everything behind me is like the same image. But, uh, yes, yeah, sir. We got the magic tonight. I'll be right back, guys. Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. You know, at 7 o'clock every day, uh, the uh, local, like, fire department sends out, like, a tone and stuff because we have a police scanner. Just in case anything happens around here, we can go look around, you know. I was one of those people when I was younger that would always go to, like, the, you know, go watch, like, the, was it, the freaking life flight helicopter go fly around and land at accident scenes and stuff because we were always curious like that. Not to mention, you know, this would give us, like, a little insight on, you know, uh, oh, my God, you know, where's, where's the fire department going? Oh, my God, who's who's in trouble? 
Uh, Tice, do you know Roche? Jacob, we all know you love Rocha, bro. Come on. You literally talk about him all the time. This dude jumps into Sports Fury's live streams and says stuff about Rocha. Like, talks about Rocha. Rocha, Rocha, Rocha. Like, bro, Jacob, if you love Rocha, just let us know, bro. I mean, damn. <laughs> Sheesh. I guess we could say jo Jacob is a Rocha stan. What's up, uh, Slime? Always good to see you in the chat. What's up, Man of Destruction? Got the OGs in the chat, man. You love to see it. Okay. That's just, I'm just hoping that OBS behaves itself. If it doesn't, again, I'll probably, it'll probably take me like a few minutes to get set up on the OBS and then I'll be back. But there's the magic. Um, 20 and 55 record, worse than the NBA. Four players have 50 plus point games versus Orlando. The most. The danger is 7 and 8 record since the break. Ninth best defensive rating since in the NBA since January 1st. So they've definitely been playing better. Now, as for the Cavs starting five this evening, it's Darius Garland, Isaac Okoro, Karis LeVert again, Lori Markinen, and Evan Mobley. JB even came out and said that Karis is probably going to be starting for the foreseeable future, or at least until Jared Allen gets back, and maybe even afterwards. Like, we could easily have a lineup of freaking Garland, Okoro, or maybe Garland, LeVert, Markinen, Mobley, Allen, which would be nice. I'm playing Sir from the six. <laughs> but yeah, Tyskum, I'm pretty sure knows Rocha. I don't know if he's been in his chat like recently, but yeah, I'm pretty sure because Rocha's been in my been in my chats before. <sighs> but man, I, I said it before. If we lose to the bumass Magic, I mean, this is the same team that lost to the Pistons twice. We lost to the Rockets too. If we lose to the Magic, we are cooked. Yeah, he started last game, too. Actually, did pretty good. Yep. And then uh, you may notice in the pin tweet, I mean the pin, pin tweet, pin comment, I didn't put Dean Wade. You may be thinking, okay, is he active? No. In fact, uh, JB pretty much said he's doubt he's out for the year. With a torn meniscus. God, meniscuses have essentially cost us two promising young players. Dean Wade, who... It's sad how, like, the last thing we really remember from Dean Wade was him posterizing a fool on ESPN. And then skipping down the floor. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then, of course, Colin Sexton's been out since November with a torn meniscus. And some people believe he could be back. I think... If I had to give a percentage, I'd say less than probably 40% chance he'll be back. Uh, because if he was going to be back, he would be cleared for practice. And he would be doing like three on threes or four on fours. Like James Wiseman was doing before he, I guess, is essentially not coming back right now. And he had a torn meniscus last year. That's what scares me about Colin. James Wiseman had a freaking torn meniscus last year and he still isn't playing. He's probably not playing the rest of the year. Like. Oh, look at that. It's Jacob Loves Rocha. Okay. Someone really had that account ready to go. Okay. Either that or they just changed their name to it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we desperately need Jared Allen. That is hilarious. <laughs> Someone must have had to, you know, make a quick change to their account name and <laughs> did that. Okay. <sighs> that's funny. That's hilarious. I saw Dean Wade play in person. He was trash. Yeah. But we should be uh, underway in about three minutes or so. Usually, uh, we're usually uh, underway by 7.10. Of course, when they be showing the intros, that's how we know that we're underway. Is this the new intro or something? Must be. Looks dope if it is. You're telling Rocha about this? He's just going to be like, oh, of course. Okay. You know how he is. Yeah, that's how he always reacts. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Uh, but yeah, we really need Jared Allen back in the worst way possible. Okay, that's not the intro. That was just a really dope-looking commercial thing that they put up. Okay. All right. Can't wait to freaking start raging after five minutes because we just look like garbage again. Put like a rage warning on my stream before I, before the game starts. Because <laughs> I get pissed, as you saw. All right, so we are literally about three minutes away from tip-off. And, uh, I mean, every time I see Jared Allen's face in that freaking intro, it just makes me sad. Because it's like, this this dude should be balling for us right now. But, of course, he had to get hurt. Yeah, the Lakers lost to the Pelicans. And their situation is very dire right now. Because as they do the intros, you look at the standings out west, and it's getting dicey. It's getting very dicey out west. Because the Lakers are 31-43. and 43. One game ahead of San Antonio. Essentially, San Antonio is the main threat for the Lakers. Dude, imagine the Lakers missed the play-in. And if you're wondering, San Antonio is in action tonight against Houston. So if San Antonio wins, they would be a half a game back of Los Angeles. And then they... Okay, then the Lakers play Dallas tomorrow. Ooh. Man, oh man. <laughs> that means by the end of tomorrow night, the freaking Lakers could be in, like, 11th. That's just tough stuff. So we are about a minute from game time. As the Cavs are in their white jerseys. The Magic, we'll see what jerseys they're wrapping, and we'll get their starting five here in a second. Okay. Scoreboard. Magic. Booyah. So their starting five is Cole Anthony, RJ Hampton, Franz Wagner, Wendell Carter Jr., and Mo Bamba. Better not play Boston in the playoffs. And the uh, there's Robin Lopez. Of course, uh, the coach of the Magic is Jamal Mosley. First season as Magic head coach. He was one of our assistants from 2010 to 2014. Essentially right before LeBron came back. He, uh... Oh, Jared Allen's in the chat? Hey, yo. How are you, on, how are you in the chat when you're on the sideline over there? <laughs> Imagine you just see Jared Allen on his phone. Is it? Oh my god, that's actually him. But no, he he went to swat a ball, and his left hand, I think it's one of his like middle in, middle fingers right here, like got caught on the like it hit the the rim, and he fractured his uh, freaking finger. Wow. Karis Levert, starter, forty one games, eighteen points, pretty much nineteen points, forty five percent from the field. Steelers are gonna sweep the Browns again. Nah, that's cap. The only way I see them sweeping us is if we play the Steelers early on in the year and we don't have Deshaun starting. If it's Jacoby Brissett both games against the Steelers, I wouldn't be surprised, but hope not. I hope we at least split. And we are ready for tip, and it's won by the Cavs. Magic are in their blue jerseys, so nice little uh, jersey matchup. And uh, Garland gives it off to Lori. Here's Levert. Drives in. Floater. Short putback is no good. Saved by Mobley. Gives it out to Garland. Here's Lori for three. Short. Still can't freaking make those threes, huh? Still still short. Just a bit short. Ooh, I just short. Ooh, I stopped short. Hmm. Well, here's Anthony. Gives it off to Wagner. This is, I believe, Wendell Carter. And he's a little too strong. Coming up is Garland. Right to the hole. Up and um, a flop on a lob attempt from Lori. Completely missed. Anthony's no good again. Rebounded by Lori. Garland will take it up the floor. Up ahead. Here's Mobley. Against Wagner. Garland for three. That's good. 
Garland breaks the Schneid, and he's one for one from three. Yay. You know, I like the Magic jerseys, you know? And, ooh, a block on, and that's a foul. <laughs> of course. He touched his finger. That's a foul. By the way, I guess tomorrow the Cavs are having a, spa, a partnership announcement tomorrow at three. Some people believe it's like a betting partnership. Some people believe it could be a new uh, jersey sponsor. Because right now we have Goodyear. But I haven't heard anything about it. If it's if we do change jersey sponsorships, who do you guys think is going to be the new sponsor? Bull Bull, Jonathan Isaac, and Jalen Suggs all out for the Magic. Of course, we all know about the Cavs. It's Rondo, Sexton, Allen, and Wade. Sexton and Wade are essentially out for the year at this point. And misses both free throws. And here comes Garland the other way. 3 nothing Cavs. This is the game we need to get our swagger back, essentially. Kicks it out to Laurie. Goes up. And missed again. Here's Cole Anthony. Gives it to, I think this is, uh, gets Carter. Kicks it to the corner. Wide open. And he hits that. Same, different day, same story. Leaving a dude wide open in the corner. Every game, we do that. Can't even get mad at it anymore. It's like, come on, defensive lapses. Levert, step back, fires for three, and it's good. And the foul, no, no foul. Oh, okay, it was a foul on us. Evan Mobley with a turnover. Alfonso, come on, Evan. Carousel, oh yeah, he, he yeah, okay, I see it. The screen. Oh, I'm friends. Ah. Come on, friends. What are you doing, bro? Tricking, trying to freaking sell a little bit. Trying to win an Academy Award. <laughs> I got to influence a foul. And then a miss from close range. And then another miss from close range. They're going to kick it out. Here's Anthony. Drives, goes up, and Ian, Ian, up and in. Oh, Cavs losing 5-3 to three to the worst team in the league. Pretty much, of course. Here's Okoro. Kicks it out. Garland fires for three. That's good. Just give it to Garland, bro. He seems to be on point so far. Garland going to be scoring 50 tonight. He's going to be the fifth player to score 50 on these guys. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine if he did. Here's Bamba. Is good. <sighs> Classic Cavs. You know. Here's Garland. Drives. The lob. And the flush to Mobley. That's how you do it. And we're tied at 8. 8.15 to go. Do I think Rondo better with this team? Rondo isn't too bad. He's a good he's a good leader, but in terms of production, good defensive guy, but like a not great producer on the offense. Not like Rubio. Rubio was the kind of guy that could drop 30 at, a, on a, at any moment. He did against the Knicks because, of course, but like he always gave you a good amount of points. Up and... Ooh, got it! Are they going to count that? No, they don't count that. Ah. Man, I thought they was going to count that, bro. Man. <laughs> the heck you doing? So inbound from Karras. We'll go to Garland. Garland, up ahead to Lori. Lori. And misdirected pass. Not going to, not even going to yell because, and then a steal from Levert, three on one, gives it off to Laurie who dunks it home. Yeah, he just might have thought a uh, dude was in the right different spot. Not going to get mad at that. Simple mistake, but don't do it again. <laughs> Here's Carter to the corner. Anthony, okay, this is when's Hampton's in there somewhere and. There's a miss by Franz Wagner. Levert the other way. He's going to go up. And and it's good. Coast to coast for Karis Levert. 
Finally getting some starter minutes. And by the way, no uh, minutes restriction. Here's a three. Good. And that was RJ Hampton. All right. Just in case I got Hampton and Anthony confused. Okay, here's Levert against Wagner. Kicks it off to Mobley. Mobley drives in against Mamba. Mamba and he fouled. <laughs> Mamba. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Uh, Sports Fury's live for Knicks and Doubles. I need the Knicks to get the win. I need the Nickies to win. <laughs> I need, I need freaking R.J. Barrett to absolutely go crazy. And I also need the Celtics to win today, too. So, yeah, today could be a very uh, interesting day in the NBA because you got the Celtics playing, you got us playing, you got the Bulls playing. Well, it's mainly us, the Bulls, and the Raptors. Those are the teams I'm really worried about right now. Nets, Bulls, and Raptors. Well, no, not, no. N Bulls and Raptors, essentially, yeah. That's it, really. Bulls play the Knicks. Celtics play the Raptors. It's really all I care about. It's all I care about. Alrighty. But, um... Cavs called timeout. We're probably going to see Stone Feet coming in here momentarily. This is usually right around the time when they start making substitutions. Makes me wonder, though, with Dean Wade now out for the year... Who's going to take those minutes? More Windler? I mean, it makes sense. Right? I mean, you would think. I don't think the Celtics are going to win. Tatum, Brown, and Williams are out. Yeah. And Horford, I think, is out too. But we'll see. Yeah, anything can happen. I mean, for all we know, uh, don't they have another Williams on that team too? Peyton Pritchard could go for 50 or 30 points or something. Never know. Never, ever know, but we got to win regardless just to keep up with them. We don't know how things go with us. Yeah, uh, Suggs is not playing tonight. He's uh, he's still out. As is Jonathan Isaac, who has not played in literally like two years. He got hurt, I think, in the bubble, and I don't think he's played since. Yeah, injury and protocols have seriously hurt teams this year. The whole you, you can't even say that your team nobody should ever come on here and say, "Oh, my team's never had injuries." Cuz every team has had to deal with injuries this year. Or if it's not injuries, it's illness. I mean, the most chaotic time of the year was definitely what was it December and the January when the virus was ramp one and rampant and every day you had like a dozen players going on the protocols. Yeah, Jalen Brown is uh, the resting him. I think because they're on the back-to-back. -back. I'm pretty sure they are. So we are getting back to action. As they're showing the press conference or whatever from uh, J.B. Bickerstaff. So Mobley shooting two free throws. As Kevin Love is now in the game. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Free throw up and off front rim. Got to put more arc in it, my guy. Put more arc in that. He just like... Pfft. I've never seen a team doink it off front rim so much. Second one is up and okay, it rolls off the rim. Not going to get mad at that one, but... Dude can't make two free throws. Oh my god. Here we go with that now. Back with the garbage free throw attempts. Here's Wagner against Garland. Gives it off to Carter. To the corner for three. I think that's Hamilton for three. So, as usual, another random guy nobody really talks about goes off against us. Garland. Guarded by Hampton. And there's a swipe foul. <laughs> there's the cursed swipe foul. They got Hampton. Uh, that's a classic foul. Like, a get out of jail free foul. Like, if a guy's guarding you really close and you want to just get a free foul on him, you just do the swipe. Sign a player like Carlos from the Astros. No. As uh, Markel Fultz has checked in, I'll never forget, he got hurt against us, what was it, last year or something? 
towards ACL against us and pass inside. Mobley ducks and dunks it. He ducked under Bamba and just ducked it, dunked it after. Eight points in the paint for the Cavs, two for the Magic. Fogner against the rookie and it'll go out of bounds. Cavs ball. Good defense from Mobley. <sighs> I want to see how they distribute minutes now that Dean Wade's out for the year. I expect to see a lot more Windler, though. At least we can use Windler and Osmond now. Garland is no good from inside. Not too often he misses from the inside. Fultz against Okoro. Turnaround jumper is... Ooh, rims out. Mm, I thought that was going in for sure. Here comes Levert the other way. Karras gives it the love to Garland. Gar Ooh, he just... Oh, he had him shook. And then Kevin Love completely airballs. What is this dude's problem, man? He didn't even hit rim. Bro, Kevin, what's up with you, my dude? Leave him in the corner for three, and it bounces off the rim. No good. And there's a foul, I believe, on the magic. I believe it's on Wendell Carter. Oh, the Guardians are going to be meh. They're going to be carried by their pitching again. I don't know how many games I'm going to stream from them. But it's not going to be too many right now. At least until like the good, until the youngsters come up here. But I have none. They're not showing any, they're not showing me any reasons why, they, why I should stream them. As we're going to see Brandon Goodwin on the floor. We didn't see him at all in the last game. That's kind of sad. Cavs are already in the bonus. 454 to go here in the first. Goodwin gives it to Levert. Here's Mobley. Mobley. I think it's against Bamba. Kicks it out. Here's Levert. Fires for three. And it rolls off rim. No good. Almost stolen by Okoro, but couldn't get there. Coming back the other way. Anthony gives it to Wagner. Here's Fultz. The Wagner, guarded by Okoro. Wagner, Bamba, against Levert. Wagner, a lot of dribbling. Finally fires, and that's yeah, way off. That's kind of like the shot uh, Kevin Love put up. Here's Levert. Goes up, reversing in. Wow. Nice job with the handles there. Navigating through the traffic, and then just switches hands and goes up and in. And over under. Six fast break points for the Cavs. 16 to 14 is... Uh, look, ooh, Lamar's coming in. All right. Ooh, pfft. Completely should just pushed down Goodwin. I'm surprised they didn't call a foul on that. My dude just got completely... It's like, get out of here. Levert. Goodwin. Levert. Fires for three. That's off. Man, he's trying at least. Oh, I thought he was going to block that. <sighs> this is this is going to be an unnecessary dogfight. I mean, it was a dogfight last time we played these guys, and then we took off. But that was with Jared Allen, and I think Rubio, too. We weren't completely messed up with injuries <laughs> at that time. Here's Levert. Kicks it out. Goodwin fires, and got it! Did a little rattling around in the rim, but it finally went in afterwards. Big three for the Cavs, and it's a one-point lead. For Cleveland, 19-18. Yeah. 2.53 to go here in the first. Here's Fultz against Levert. I guess, uh, wait, wait, what's going on with Le Well, I guess, are they not going to sub in? They're walking back to the bench. <laughs> like, what are you guys doing, bro? Almost a bad pass. Here's Carter against Love. Fires for three. Is doinked. No good. Too strong. Okoro the other way. He's going to go to the hole. And he's fouled. Man, I'll tell you one thing with Okora. He gets the ball. He, he's got one thing on his mind. Get to the rim. Just drive to the rim. Put pressure on their defense. That's what you got to do, man. It's, that's why they say transition, you know. You get that steal, you take off, and you go to the hole. You don't give, them, you don't give their defense a chance to set up. But hey, Cavs looking not too bad. I mean... <laughs> Granted, they, they've looked good in times, and then they blew it. I mean, that Laker game especially. 
It's just that they just lost energy, it seems like. Shots weren't falling, and then you have LeBron going off. We really should beat the Magic. The Magic don't scare nobody. Avert is not as good as I thought. We gotta remember, like, he was hurt, got traded, or whatever. He got traded here, had to learn a whole new system thing and everything, you know, learn to mesh with his teammates on the court. Then he got hurt. And he, he's still trying to get his legs under him now, I'm pretty sure. And not to mention he was on a minutes restriction. Not You can't really do a whole lot when you're on a minutes restriction from the bench. But you let him do his thing. And, I mean, we could easily see the Levert that took over against the Lakers. Didn't he have a 40-point game recently, too? I mean, if he's good, I mean, all I need him to do is just get buckets. You know, I'm not trying to have him. I don't need him to take over a game. I don't know, we really need it. That'd be nice. It'd be nice, like, especially late game, to have him take over when teams are hounding freaking Garland like he did against the Pacers that one game when he essentially won it for us. But, like, we don't need him to be a superstar. We just need him to, to be good, you know, to be all right. You know, especially at the end, like I said, because like I, I mean, Garland gets hounded by opponents. They know at the end of games, they just har- they they harass him, double teams. They're trying to press him, you know, trap him, because they figure, well, Garland's really the only one that we were really scared of. Now, of course, that that would change if we had Sexton, because that dude could take over as well. I mean, just look at the Nets game. Was it last year? That Nets game was nuts. Dude literally welcomed the big three to Cleveland. Harden, Kyrie, Durant. I think that was like one of their first full games together. All three of them. With like a 42, he dropped like 40-something on them. And he hit daggers on, I think, almost all three of them too. Especially Kyrie. All right, so there is Darius. Is he coming back in now? Must be. Alrighty then. Short rest for Darius. So the starting five, the five on the floor for each team. We'll get that here in a second. There's JB. His free throw is coming up for Isaac. I'll get you the uh, the five here in a second. Free throw is good. Five on the floor for the Magic. Wendell Carter Jr., Markel Fultz, Chuma Okiki. Admiral Schofield and uh, Dowden, whoever that is. I think he used, didn't he used to play for the Warriors in the preseason? Well, he's on the Magic. And then for the Cavs, it's uh, Okoro, Love, Goodwin, Markin, and Garland. So they're going with the uh, duo, the duo guard here. The two guard thing like they did before. Goodwin and Garland on the foot at the same time. Oh, almost a steal. Fultz against Love. And it rolls in. 21-20 Cavs. Two minutes approaching. Garland gives it to Markinen. Here's Love. Kevin fires for three. And he misses again. Oh, Kevin. Here's Carter. Pops for two. No good. Here comes Okoro. Gives it to Kevin. Here's Okoro again. Drives, spins, goes up, and in. Oh, God. Damn. Isaac, get saucy on these boys, man. Damn. Wendell for three. That's way too strong. Can't get the rebound. And it's stolen by Okoro anyway. And then he turns it over because he was trying to straddle, not going out of bounds. Yeah, Roach is live for Grizzlies and Warriors. Oh, that'd be fun. Dylan Windler is set to come in. Fultz gets a screen. Guarded by Garland. Puts up for two and good. Oh, Isaac. I like, what really, I like what you were trying to do, but shouldn't have done that. And a foul as Markinen gets fouled by, I think, that, who's that, Admiral Schofield? Yep, that's Admiral Schofield, former Tennessee volunteer. I think I did one of his tournament games when he was with Tennessee. I think it was against Purdue, too. Yeah. That was the game where, that, where it was insane. Was that the game when Carson Edwards just went absolutely ballistic? Might be. 
So free throws coming up for Lori. First one is up and good for the seven foot forward. Garland shoots so flat. I mean, usually his threes look, you know, they look good, but like when his legs are dead, yeah, they look bad. Second free throw is up and good. Cavs up three again. And now Fultz will take it, take it up the floor. Guarded by Lamar Stevens, who checks in. Here's Carter. He'll give it off. Wide open in the corner. Schofield stepped out. Cavs ball. I believe that might have been Doughton. Can't really tell right now. I'll get you I'll for sure get it. Five turnovers for the Magic. Three for the Cavs. So Garland will take it up the floor. He'll give it off to Ke uh, to Windler, who's also in the game now. Garland got fouled. He was trying to go up, I guess, for some wild shot. And Carter called for the foul. So that is uh, foul number two on Wendell Carter. <sighs> 30.9 seconds to go here in the first. Cavs up three. First one is up and good. The thing is, though, you know, I've always wondered, could we ever see Darius go for like a 50-point game? No, I don't think so. The only way I could see him going for 50 is if he had the mentality of Colin Sexton where he doesn't really pass it. And he's, he's passive. He passes a lot. He's all about distributing instead of just taking over a game. Unless like he's really feeling it, then I'm sure he would. Second free throw is up and good. So both of them are in and it's five point lead for the Cavs. 30 seconds and counting. Garland. Garland, the ball handler. That's, I think, uh, can't tell who that is. Is this Okiki? <laughs> Okiki. Here's Fultz. Against Lamar. Pulls up for two. That's short. And the Cavs can take the final shot. Five on the shot clock. Five on the clock. Here's Garland. Kicks it out. Marking in. Ooh, just off back rim. Ew, that looked a good shot, too. That was a good look. But he just couldn't go in. Oh, well. Story of the year for us. Good look, but it won't go in. Just a little too strong. But he has a nice pass from Garland, though. So after one, 27-22 Cavs. Not a bad first quarter. As uh, Mo Wagner actually checked in. I didn't even notice. Ow. Yeah, they got a Mo Wagner and a Franz Wagner. You got Mo Bamba. So you have the Moes on the floor at the same time. At time probably at, at some point. Welcome to Moes. Cavs uh, had Lamar, Wendler, Garland, Markinen, and Love. Yeah, eight points for Garland so far. I mean, not too bad of a start. Uh, score updates. Yeah, um, Denver is up by four, 30 to 26. Late in the first. And after one, 44-30, Atlanta over at Indiana. So how are we feeling about this game, guys? We feeling good? I'm feeling all right right now, you know? First quarter, not too bad. Um, we just got to play good ball for three more quarters, and it's a dub. Get this dub, and then get ready for Dallas. And then I think we have Orlando coming up again. So like I said, ow, damn it. Why do I always hurt myself? God, like the Cavs, man. Just inadvertently banging on stuff. God. Don't you just hate when you do that? Just mindlessly, bam, slam your freaking hand in the freaking desk. Mm. Ah, that hurt a little bit. Mm. Not too bad, though. I'm good. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just the story of my life right now. Banging. <sighs> man, dude. All we gotta do is just win this win the night and then focus on the the Mavs. High school British Columbia. Steve Nash. Oh pff. okay. Yeah, uh, well so we don't need to know a background history on Steve Nash. I think we all know about his accomplishments. How he successfully, you know, ran the seven seconds or less offense in Phoenix. Never forget when the when the uh, Lakers got him. And everyone was saying, oh, yeah, this is a Lakers super team. That might have been the worst super team ever. 
the Dwight Howard, Steve Nash, Kobe Bryant Lakers. Good crowd on hand tonight. I see some empty seats, but it is what it is. So starting the second quarter on the floor for the Magic is Fultz, Okiki, Schofield, Doughton, and Wagner. And then for the Cavs, it's Love, Markin, and Garland, Stevens, Windler. Stolen, Love, pass up ahead, and it goes out of bounds. Yeah, Kev, you got to work on your passes. He's like, that's my fault. That's my fault. Yeah, it was your fault, brah. I mean, I understand, you know, you're trying to fit it through a tight window there because there was a blue jersey in the way. But maybe if it was, like, someone taller, you probably could have gotten it. But, yeah, it is. And then here's a three, and Kevin Love leaves his man open again. Oh, Kev. Kev, Kev, Kev. I guess at this point, you just got to tolerate his his deficiencies. As long as he's as long as he's getting buckets, it's fine. Turnaround jumper for your love is good, so he makes up for that bad play on offense last time with a nice little turnaround jumper. Nice job. Good job. Turnaround jumper the other way. Rims out. Get the ball. There you go, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan. There you go. <laughs> Here's Garland. Trying to sauce. Backs off. Up ahead to Love. Hook shot. Good. And the foul. Okay, Kevin. That was a nice pass again by Garland. Damn, he, he's finding these like passes. Like, how do you even do that? Looks like he's going to sauce up Okiki. And he dimes one up to uh, to Kevin. Who I think got past uh, Doughton. I think that was Doughton. Free throw up and good. So there you go. 32-25. Cavs lead. 11 minutes to go. Here's Fultz. Drives up and no good. Rebounded by Windler. Garland will take it up the floor. Kicks it to Love. Love fires for three and he's too strong. Got a, le got a lesson on the juice a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. Otherwise he'll be hitting the front of the rim again. Three on the other end. Rims off. No good. Pass up ahead. Love. Step back. Fires for three. Good. Okay. See what I mean? You gotta less, lessen up, lighten up on the juice a little bit. Also, it seems like he bangs his threes when he does a little step side or like a step back. No, Dean Wade's out for the year. He's out with a torn meniscus, a partially torn meniscus, which doesn't give me much faith in Colin Sexton coming back. Another miss. Stolen. Garland. He passed it right to Darius. <laughs> That's tough. Darius is going to drive. Goes up and in. And he... I thought he got fouled, but I think it was just a timeout. Right? Yeah, it's a timeout. Well, there you go, Cavs. Looking much better. Up by 12. Nice. Keep doing it. Keep going. Don't let off the gas. This Magic team is not good. Now, if there's any Magic fans watching, you know, I mean, I'm going to say this. Your team has potential. You got some good studs on your team. As long as they can stay healthy, and maybe you somehow land a top three pick. Yeah, Bull Bull's out too. Yeah, we're finally beating somebody. Oh, it's just the Magic. Well, I mean, the Magic have beaten some good teams, right? I mean, of course, they have 20 wins on the year. Oh, you're finally beating somebody. <laughs> Bro, if the Raptors lose to a Celtics team without Tatum, Brown, Horford, or Grant Williams... Well, that's tough. That's the, probably the toughest thing ever. <sighs> but yeah, we are finally beating somebody. I look more happy than... Well, yeah, because my team's actually playing good. <laughs> you look more happy than ever. Well, I mean, I'm going to be happy when my team is playing good. But you know how it goes. We start sucking. The rage is going to come out. But yeah, Bull Bull's out. Jonathan Isaac's out. Jalen Suggs is out. Like, they have a nice future. If they play the cards right, if they get a little luck from the lottery gods, they could honestly be... A, maybe 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 they have a Cavs revival arc next year. Going from lottery team to team that's not trash. You know? 
I mean, let's say they draft uh, Jabari. Because they already have Isaac and they already have freaking Mobamba. Do they really need a Chet Holmgren? Eh, Paolo would be nice, though. In the Magic, in the magic jersey. He would look uh, dope, I think, in the Magic blue and white and black jerseys. Oh, yeah, he'd look great. If I was a Magic fan, I'd probably want Paolo or Jabari. Yeah. But we all know how the lottery gods are. Take it from me. I have experience with that garbage. You think, oh, yeah, we're going to get a top five pick because we have the we're one of the worst teams ever. You end up with number seven. Then you're looking pissed as all. Oh, I thought Kevin Love got hurt. No, okay. He's good. I thought Kevin got hurt. <laughs> nah. Nice pass from DG again, man. He is throwing some dimes out there. Nice little step back. Bango. Cavs suck, and you know it. Yeah, and yet we, uh, you're a Raptor fan, aren't you? Well, we smacked your Raptors three out of the four times. Here's another miss. Rebounded by Lori. Gives it to Garland. He'll take it up the floor. He'll stop. Gives it to Markinen for three. Top of the key and good. Uh, this is the game we need to have to get our swagger back. 13-0 run. Here's a three for Schofield and rims out. No good. Rebounded by Love. Garland will take it up the floor. Garland, sizing up his man. Goes in the corner. To the corner for Windler. Windler, out to Lori. Lori, little fake out. Garland. Fires. Good for three. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> he cooking. Was that a two or was that a three? That was a two. Ah, they caught it a two? Man. It was borderline three-pointer. What are you talking about? Damn. <laughs> and then there's Lamar Stevens with a lean-in foul. Kind of got caught, caught leaning a little bit. What if we were trash and draft Chet? Imagine that off the bench. You know, I wouldn't have been completely pissed if we were garbage this year. Because imagine, like, we would have had no room for Chet or Paolo. You're not going to run four guys that are freaking towers on the floor with Garland. Garland and the four towers. Now, we have well, we already have three of them. Unless you put Lori on the bench. We'll be the first team ever to run out a freaking lineup of nothing but seven footers. <laughs> Super size. Here's a three for Fulton. That rolls off the rim. And then Kevin Love gets run over. I thought he was hurt, but he just rolls over like, huh? As a uh, Wow. Dude got run over by Schofield. So it's a loose ball foul on Admiral Schofield. His first foul. Cavs up 17. This is different. I like it. Windler. Just don't fall off. That's all I'm going to say. Here's Love. Nice pass to Mobley. Mobley in the corner. Drives. Turn around. And go. Oh. He just turn, hit a turnaround jumper in freaking Franz's or Wagner's face. My God. In Mo's face, bro. Damn. And there's an easy layup on the baseline by, I think that's Doughton. Pass up to Windler. Gives it to Love. Here's Garland. Pass inside the love, and he lost the ball. Come on, crab hands. What are you doing, dude? Had an easy two, and... I, 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 I think he was thinking scoring before he actually corralled the ball. But this dude freaking hit a turnaround jumper in Moe's face. Like, ugh. And we got an offensive foul on Wagner. As he kind of leaned into Garland, who was chasing his, his man. See, here's... Yeah, kind of leaned into him. Trying to give Hampton a little bit more room on like a pick and roll, I guess. Hey, how you do it, my guy? 27, 40, uh, 44, 27. It says 45 on the screen. And then there's a dunk on the other end. Uh, by Okiki. Here's Garland. 
44-29. It says 45 on the ESPN. So I don't know who to believe. Here's Love. Got it by Schofield. Inside for Windler reverse. Windler actually scored. I cannot believe it. He actually scored. Okay. Here's Hampton to Wagner to the corner. This is a... Uh, okay, yeah. Schofield. No, it's good. Cavs up by 15, although ESPN says 16. So we'll see what happens. We'll see who adjusts it first. Garland. Here's a three. And there's a foul on the Cavs. Right? Or is it on them? Oh, it was on Hampton. Okay. I always got to see like where the players are going because I don't have the volume all the way up. So I have to see like what the player, what the player's body language. And so it was on the Magic. As uh, it'll be Love, Stevens, Windler, Mobley, Goodwin on the floor for the Cavs. Okiki, Schofield, Wagner, Bradzikis, and Anthony on the floor for the Magic. Ignis Bradzikis, former Nick, I believe. Here's Love. Gives it off to Windler. Windler drives up and, ooh, just unlucky bounce off the back rim. Unlucky bounce. Three in the corner is no good. Rebounded by Mobley. He'll give it to Goodwin. Cavs up 15 or 16. I don't know who's going to adjust who. And another foul on the Magic. That's on Ignis Brazikis. Man. That's Franz Wagner. We'll check in for Admiral Schofield. Karis Levert will return for Dylan Windler. <laughs> Something Natalia. Vamos Magic. Well, yeah, they're losing by 15 right now. But we can't let off the gas. Here's Levert. Levert draws a switch. Here's Goodwin. Pass to Love for three is... Ah. Yeah. That was a nice shot, but it just didn't go in. Probably too short again. Here's Wagner. Against Mobley. Goes up and good. Goodwin will take it up the floor. Goodwin. Gives it off to Levert. Inside for Love. Almost got fouled there. Nice spin move. Ooh. Goes up. And the foul. And one. Oh, no. It's on us? Did they get him for traveling or something? They called him for traveling. Wow. Okay. Wow. And he didn't really move after he dribbled into the paint. No, he's back. He's been back for a couple games now. He's even starting. Here's one Wagner to the other. Drives gets all that. He got blocked by Mobley. And I hope he's not hurt because he just went tumbling down on the other end. Don't tell me he's hurt now. If he's really hurt, I, I am done. I am officially done. I know the magic suck. If Mobley is really hurt, hurt, like, I'm done. I'm done. The, the, the basketball gods don't want to see us succeed at all. Like, I'm seriously done. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like my team is falling apart at the seams. I don't know, man. It's like losing Allen, just, it's like a catalyst, it's like a freaking snowball effect. You lose Allen, so you have to play the other guys more often, and I don't know. It's. Of course. He did take a pretty nasty tumble, though. Uh, up by 12. 
So I'm saying this team cannot afford to let off the gas. 14-7 Chicago over New York. Boston's winning 19 to 11 early on in the first. If Boston wins, bro, that'd be crazy. Because, you know, we need Toronto to lose. Because if we end up tied with Toronto again, we go back into sixth place because we own the tiebreaker. Right? Yeah. We beat them twice and they beat us twice. Yeah. So, we own the tiebreaker pretty much. Because we beat them. We beat them worse than they beat us. All because of that one game where we absolutely drubbed them when they had nobody. But, I mean, we didn't have Jared Allen in that other game either. But, oh, well. It is what it is. Ah, <sighs> man. But I think we, us and Raptors fans can both agree we want to see the Bulls fall into the play-in. That would be a tough fall. They were, like, top of the league, top of the East for so long. And then they just fell off. I think we all can. I think us and Raptors fans can agree that we want to see the downfall. As there goes Mobley limping, of course, back to the locker room. Of course, he's hurt. What happened? Oh yeah, it's his ankle. He landed on uh, Wagner. Damn you, Wagner! He landed on Wagner's foot. Turned his ankle. I've seen a lot of that this year from everybody. Damn. So many twisted and turned ankles. LeBron even had that before either. Before uh, LeBron hurt his ankle last time, last game too, I think. But here's Levert. Gives it to Goodwin. Levert inside the love. Out to Goodwin. Fires for three. And that's short. Yeah, let's get a freaking guard, point guard who can't shoot really. I like Goodwin, but yeah, Garland needs to like, you know, be in there. 47-35, Cavs lead. This is somehow going to be like a single-digit game heading into halftime, isn't it? <laughs> no defense from Lori. 10-point lead. 4.40 to go. Here's Kevin. He'll give it off to Goodwin. To the corner from Markinen. Fires for three short. Here we go. The choke job is on again because guys can't freaking stay healthy. And it's an eight-point lead. Cavs bench again. Here's Love. Inside for Lamar. Goes up and dunks it home. Good job, Lamar. Nice. You actually contributed. Good job. Was on Kevin Love. Psh. Oh yeah, Mobley Mobley landed on Franz Wagner's foot. I've seen that a lot this year, from every team. Guys just be landing on each other's feet, man. Because it's because they be wearing these like low, low top shoes, and then their ankle turns. I don't. You don't see anybody wearing high tops anymore, like the ones that Kobe had. The ones with like the super tall like freaking neck or whatever. The ones that are like have like a damn near brace on them to keep your ankle state straight, steady. Everyone wants to wear low tops and then they wind up hurting their ankles. It's an eight point lead again. Yeah, they're I think he just might have just turned his ankle. Here's Garland the lob. Ooh, the flush to Okoro. Okay. All right. Yeah, Isaac can fly, in case he didn't know. Here's Wagner. The lob and the... Oh, he almost missed that lob, but it went in anyway. Still an eight-point lead. Here's Garland. To the corner for Lamar. Fires for three. No good. And what is the rebound? We cannot get offensive rebounds. We have a seven-footer who gets beat out by freaking Wendell Carter Jr. for rebounds. To the corner. And a foul on Levert. Yeah, I know. I, I heard. I mean, yeah, of course. Probably twisted his ankle. He'll be all right. It didn't look too bad. 
He had a slight limp. He's probably just gonna ice it up or something. But I think, you know, as someone who might have, you know, if I had ankle issues, I'd wear high tops, like high high tops. And it's a six point lead. So oh, here comes JB finally calling a timeout. Hey JB, why didn't you? Why don't you just wait until the Magic tie the game up to call a timeout? <sighs> Walked away for 10 seconds to get some pizza takes, pizza rolls, and all of a sudden it looks like it may be competitive. Yeah? You can thank the bench again for that. What's up, Asia? Have I ever played basketball before? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Just wasn't the greatest at it. <laughs> Who taught Icicle Coral how to shoot? They need a raise. Dude, like, Icicle Coral, at one point, was so trigger shy. It kind of aggravated him. He's like, dude, shoot the ball, man. And now, he's shooting the ball at a pretty good clip. Of course, most of his shots are in the corner, which is his spot, which, hey, you know, shoot it where you're comfortable. Yeah. So, here comes the Cavs, already only down six, of course. We were up by almost 20, I think, at one point. Classic Cavs. Here's Levert to Garland. Garland fires for three, and that's too strong. We're just going to chuck threes, guys. Again, just start chucking threes. It only works if they go in. Uh, kicks it inside. And it's an easy two. It's going to be tied by halftime. If we wouldn't even be shocked if we were losing. This team is ridiculous. Here's Markinen, hook shot, and another foul on the Cavs. Oh my god, Cavs. Like, what happened? Hey guys, we played good first quarter. Let's suck now. Like, Cavs. <laughs> like, you good? Damn. Like... Inside. Almost, he lost the ball. Kicks it out. Here's Anthony to Carter. Up and good. Two point game. We're going to lose this freaking... Oh, my God, Cavs. You were up by 18 or something at one point. Now it's a two-point game. Because let's just chuck threes, guys. Let's just keep chucking. Classic Cavs strategy of just chucking threes and hoping they go in. Foul. Wow, we drew a foul. Nice. I don't know who the referee is. I can't tell. I have to look. I'll take a look at halftime. I don't think it's Tony Brothers. But if it is, I wouldn't be surprised. 143 to go. Free throw up and good. We lose Mobley and the freaking defense just forgets how to act. My God. That's what happens. You start chucking these things and then you start missing and then the magic are going with these easy easy shots and this is what we get. A damn near blown lead. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. They're going to say still magic ball. They said we touched it. There's Levert. I was going to say, hey, it hit off of the dude's knee, bro. Don't be saying it's their ball. It's our ball. I was going to say, it hit off the dude's knee. What are you talking about, ref? Bozo. Here's Garland. Bobbing and weaving around. Got it by Carter. Almost turned it over, but luckily Levert paid attention. Here's Love inside. Kicks it out. Nice pass to them around the horn. Back to Love in the corner for three. That's good. And off that pass, and you better make that shot. I swear to God, if you missed that, Kevin, after all that, bro, you need to go to the bench. Bum. And then, no defense, as usual. 
Just let them go to the rim, guys. Here, you like put a runway with like those lights on it. You know, here, go to the rim. Inside, bad pass. It'll stay with the Cavs. Luckily, God. <sighs> Refs need to hop off the Cavs opponents. <laughs> it's funny how we get the road whistle at home. We don't even get the benefit of the hometown, like, hometown, like, whistle. Because a lot of teams, you know, they'll get, like, you know, calls that favor them kind of at home. You know, the refs will kind of be home favoring the hometown team sometimes. Well, like, how about the fact that we have a legit all-star on our team, but, yeah, we don't even, he doesn't, he doesn't really get a whole lot of calls. And so we got a foul from that was away from the play. Marking in first free throw is good. It was on Cole Anthony, and that is Anthony's first. Mobley twisted his ankle, I believe. Uh, hopefully he's all right. Probably icing it up. At least it's halftime almost, so shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Here's Garland in the corner. Gives it to Markinen. Markinen. Back to Garland. Back to the corner. Drives. Kicks it out. Here's Lavert. Corner. Love again for three. That's good again. Cavs up nine now. 35 seconds to go. Here's Anthony. Gives it to Wagner. Wagner against Markinen. Puts up. And that's an air ball. Love will take it. Don't double dribble, my dude. That's all you need you to do is double dribble it. Because you're in too much of a frantic mode to freaking get it up the floor. <laughs> only, only Kevin Love would do that. I'm surprised we haven't put Moses in. So Kevin Love coming for the... Uh, Inbound and he loses the ball. Oh my god. He came up for the screen and he lost the ball. Only Kevin would do that. Come up for a screen and you wind up losing the ball. Four seconds to go. Here's Garland. Two, one. Fires for three. Ooh, just a bit off. Cavs up seven after one. After after a half. A up seven after a half a play. Could have been worse. Leading the way for the Cavs is Garland with 15. Love with 14 and Markkanen has 8. Leading score for the uh, Magic is Wendell Carter with 8. Anthony has 6 and Mo Bamba has 6. <laughs> Only Love, no hate. Well, hey, I mean, what usually happens is I slam up. So that's what happens. You know, you slander him and it's like... The slander helps him, like, you know, get good. I want him to prove me wrong. You know? I want to look like an idiot when I slander him. I slander you. Make me look like an idiot. Make me look like a douchebag. Go out there and drop 40 in a freaking game. Do another 34-point quarter, Kevin. If you do that again like you did when LeBron was here, 34 points in a quarter, I will never slander you again. On God. I will never slander you again if you did that if you did that at some time. Juju DJ, remember he is stone feet in the exact opposite of Uncle Drew. <laughs> well, he, he's he's never been really that great on defense. To this day, I still can't believe he put up one of the best defensive showings against Steph Curry. For like, what, 10 seconds, he was locking that dude down. He had him, his feet were going about probably 50 miles per hour. He was like doing like happy feet. Probably the fastest his feet has ever moved. My dude had jazz feet. If you know what jazz hands are, it's when he go like, ah! Well, he was doing jazz feet. My dude was moving his feet like crazy trying to keep in front of Steph. Because with Steph, you don't want to give him any space because he'll daggle you. Dagger you. So anyways, let's go through the stats. The stats for uh, the first half. As I mentioned, for the uh, Orlando Magic, leading score is Wendell Carter Jr. with eight. You have three, pl four players with six points. And the, the other four, yeah, the other four starters have six points apiece. Yeah, Wagner, Bamba, Anthony and Hampton all have six apiece. Then off the bench, 
They definitely went deeper into their bench this time around. Uh, six from Markel Fultz. Five from Schofield. Four from Bradzikis. And then two from Okiki. Wagner. The other Wagner. And Dof- Doughton. Doughton. And then for the Cavs. Led with 15 from Garland. Not bad. Not a bad game out of him so far. Uh, you have eight from Markinen, Six apiece from Okoro and Mobley. And then four from Levert. Of course, uh, Mobley went out with an injury. I don't think it's too bad. He just maybe twisted his ankle. I think he'll be all right. Especially with halftime. It'll give him a chance to rest it up a little bit. And then 14 for Kevin Love. And then three for Goodwin. And two apiece for Windler and Stevens. We have not seen Chetty Osmond. So I guess Chetty's back on back in the doghouse. Is, it, is this what we're going to do? Just put him in the doghouse from now on? Like, damn. And then at halftime, uh, in the other games, at halftime, 74-63 Atlanta over Indiana. It's 56-53 Denver over Charlotte at just before halftime. Just start of the second quarter, 31-19 Miami over Sacramento. After one, 28-24 Chicago over New York, the Knicks. 38-30 Boston over Toronto, 11-19 to go in the half. And then you have uh, three other games coming up. Actually, in a little bit. But they should be tipping off here in a, mo- in a moment. San Antonio, Houston. Again, if San Antonio wins, that puts them just, what, a, ha- a half a game behind the Lakers for 10th? And then you have Golden State, Memphis tipping off momentarily. And then you have at 10 o'clock, OKC in Portland, which might be the absolute worst game of the year. You see that injury report from those from that game? It's like a book. Like a dozen guys from Portland alone, it seems like, are out. <laughs> it's, it'd be easier to name who's playing. Like, who's actually healthy instead of who's hurt. If I had to do a report for that, oh my god. I, I'd just say everybody. All right, it'd be easier for me to say who's healthy. But man, dude, Portland. They actually look good for a little while, but of course, you know. Dame's out. McCollum's gone. They have some nice pieces, but yeah. Um, what a fall from grace, man. I mean, I remember I did freaking Blazer playoff games. You know, a couple years. and That was a good-ass team. But now, now they're going to be putting their luck in the uh, tankathon, you know, in the, in the uh, lottery. Can't blow a league lead during halftime. I'm getting more pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Yeah, man. I'm just reading through Twitter and seeing if I see any updates. If we lose Mobley, I doubt we are even a playoff team. Well, the good news is we're essentially guaranteed a playoff spot. Ooh. So they, oh, the Cleveland Charge. Oh, I was going to say the Cavs, but it was a charge. They acquired Kyle Guy. He's that guy. I need Markinen to get five more rebounds. It's definitely possible. Assistant GM now for the Cavs. Went to the locker room behind Evan Mobley. Just returned to the executive row and told president of basketball ops, Kobe Altman, the news. We wait. Oh, boy. Well, we got to we gotta see what Kobe's body language is. If he's not, you know, like, if he doesn't look like he's done in the dumps, we'll see. He just, like, turned his ankle. I mean, <laughs> probably good that Kobe didn't go back immediately after. Yeah, it's a parlay. I think he could easily get it. Because right now, how many does he have? Markkinen has two rebounds, so he, it's definitely possible that he could get uh, he could get five more, especially if Mobley misses any any more time. But still, like if if freaking Mobley's out, play Moses. Couldn't be any worse. You just need him to freaking defend the paint. I know the dude can't shoot, but he's a freaking center. I don't need him to freaking try to be like Steph Curry. I just need him to freaking guard the paint. And dunk it. You know, when they lob it to you, dunk it. <laughs> Pretty much. 
just be a living, breathing body. But if it's only a twisted ankle, that's that's I can live with a twisted ankle because probably iced it up. I don't know. I don't know if he had any high top shoes in his locker. Cause that'd be a good you know, that'd be a good way to adjust it, you know, or fix it. High top shoes. Because your ankle keeps your ankle secure. Man, they were just showing some popcorn on the freaking TV, bro. I think one of the most goaded foods ever is movie theater popcorn. Legit. Like, I would eat probably the half, I would have eaten the ent- half the half the entire half the freaking thing of popcorn before the movie even started. <laughs> the moment I sit down, it's nom 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 nom. K Love player of the game at the moment. Well, he definitely uh, you know got us back on track. That's for sure with his two with his couple threes at the end there. If we lose this game, then we need to sign Tom Brady at this point. No. No. If we lose this game, then I said earlier, we're cooked. This is the game that we needed that we need to get our swagger back. Because you look at our schedule coming up after the Magic, we have the Mavericks. And they're playing some good ball. But I think we were we are a really good matchup against them. Then after that, we got, I believe, uh, who do we got after that? Hang on, here's the schedule. So we got Orlando, Dallas, and Atlanta. That's a back-to-back right there. Dallas and Atlanta, the 30th and the 31st. New York, Philly, and Orlando. Next six games. I think we could easily go maybe four and two, three and three. Uh, in our next six after the, after today, uh, including today, beat Orlando, beat Dallas. I truly think we can beat Dallas if we play our best. Probably lose to Atlanta because back to back on the road. Beat New York. Probably lose to Philly, and then beat Orlando. And then the next two games are probably crapshoots. Because Milwaukee could be resting players in that final game of the year. And Brooklyn, well, I don't know if we're going to beat Brooklyn. If we have Jared Allen back by then, I mean, it's possible. But I think this team just low-key ran out of gas. You know, the depth just isn't there. Because of a lot of teams, if an injury happens, someone else steps right up. And you just continue going. This team just lost a lot of firepower throughout the year with Colin Sexton going down, Rubio going down. We lost Mobley for some games. Allen's been out for a while. It's like, oh my God, dude. Like, I, I swear, we have like a combined, like, almost seems like Sexton, Rubio, and Allen. That's, that's a lot of points that are in street clothes right now. Well, one of them's not even here. He's in freaking Indiana. <laughs> Sweet and salty popcorn, dude. Popcorn's amazing. With a little bit of butter in there, you know? But yeah. Lakers, if they lose two, then Miami Heat. <laughs> Miles Garrett, <laughs> imagine. Let's say our cat got are out. Who are you rooting for to win the chip? I'd say Lakers for me, but you know. So I'm saying Nuggets because I want Boogie to... Boogie? I'd say Mavs. Because I like Luka. I'd probably root for the Mavs. Yeah. I'd probably root for the Mavs. Out of the West. If I had to choose an Eastern Conference team, probably the Bucks. But I don't even know. I was going to say Toronto, but their fans are kind of douchey right now. Because of the whole rivalry between Mobley and Scotty. <laughs> but I'd probably root for the uh, the Mavs. You know? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely say Mavericks, for sure. Oh, God, what is this? Oh, he's out for the rest of the game. <laughs> and it's a left ankle sprain for Evan Mobley. Oh, of course. We cannot have anything, ever. A left ankle sprain. I thought it was a twisted ankle. 
We can't have anything. Cannot have a damn thing in this damn city, it seems like, in this, this team. <laughs> like, really? Wow. Oh, of course. <laughs> we can't have anything. Damn, the Guardians losing 21 to 4? Or they were. Damn. <laughs> oh, the Guardians. Talk about an abomination. Well, yeah, Mobley's out for a while now, it looks like. With a left ankle sprain. Because, of course. <laughs> because he landed on Franz Wagner's freaking foot. Maybe it's not too bad, but it's, it's an ankle sprain. So once again, we're down to one legit like center, and that is uh, Moses Brown or Ed Davis. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> I mean, at this point, like. We were cooked. Because now we just we literally don't even have two thirds of our big three. Literal, our big three. They're gonna keep them out until the playoffs. Ankle injury for rookie of the year co-favorite Evan Mobley. So we're getting ready for the third quarter. Cavs up seven. As here comes Cole Anthony. He'll take it up the floor. Gives it to Hampton. Back to Anthony. Guarded by Okoro. The lob and the dunk. Oh, God. We're going to get cooked now because we don't have Mobley. We have no rim protection at all now. And JB ain't going to play Moses Brown for some reason. Not even Ed Davis either. Like, really, bro? You're not even going to play Ed Davis? Like, at least Ed can give you some rim protection. Here's Okoro. Floater is no good. Oh, here comes Anthony the other way. Floater and good. Down by three. Uh, of course. 11.05 to go. Levert gives it the love. Here's Markinen. Gives it to Levert. The lob ahead and the dunk by Markinen. Markinen's a seven footer, but he can't play defense. Like, what's the deal with that? He's tall, but he can't do anything. He's he's bad at defense. Like, okay. Here's Anthony. Gives it off. Pass up ahead. Bamba. Floaters. Good. Oh, Cavs. <laughs> Taco. Yeah, I wish we still had him, but... Nope. Can't have anything around here. Here's Levert. Fires for three. And it's no good. 10-12 to go. Here's a three. And we're tied. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ah, uh, 9.57 to go. We're cooked, man. We're barbecued. We're done for. We don't have no rim protection. Our best rim protectors are literally injured. Because, of course, Garland for three. No good. And now the offense has resorted to shot chucking. When you can't lob it to a center, here's a, just chuck it. Just chuck it. YOLO, chuck it. Pass to Levert who dunks it home. (sighs) 
took out all the energy of the arena. Damn Franz Wagner. I mean, I know it's an, I know he didn't mean to, but like, of course. <laughs> that's why people wear high. That's why you should wear high, high tops instead of low tops. Protects your ankles. To the corner, inside, and a foul. And now Lori's hurt. <laughs> I can't even make this up. Literally, I cannot make this up. Like, really? <laughs> I'm legit done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. If Lori's legit hurt, I'm done. I'm done. Done. Donezo. I'm done. And he can't even walk. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Donezo. I'm gone. I'm done. Done. I hate this. What did we do to deserve this? What? The basketball gods saw us succeeding and like, no. Can't have them succeed. Injury bug. Unleash hell on the Cavaliers. <laughs> I'm done. 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 I'm done. Probably an AC off of Markinen. He went down holding his knee immediately. Done. I'm done. I'm so done. I, I'm not even having fun anymore. <sighs> what did we do to deserve this? What did we do to deserve this? <laughs> like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. And literally every injury we get is freaking knees or ankles, except for Jared Allen. His was probably the most BS injury of them all. Going to block a shot in his freaking offhand, of all things, catches the rim, and he freaking sprains his freaking finger. Like, what did we do? What did we do? <laughs> what did we do? We literally lost Mobley and Markinen within probably 10 minutes, 20 minutes of one another. We have no centers now. Nothing. I mean, we do. Moses Brown and Ed Davis. Ugh, Moses Brown and Ed Davis. And you know what the crazy thing is? This is all going down when we're literally in the midst of a playoff push. Well, the good news is Markin is on the bench. He might have just bumped knees. If I see Lloyd Markin walk out on the floor, bro, oh, is he just uh, going back? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, okay, no, he's going back. I thought, okay. Well, he's not limping. I don't know what he's doing. Well, I mean, I guess the good thing is Laurie's not immediately going back to the locker room from what I saw. Is he getting on that bike thing? Is he just like testing out his knee, making sure it's... Because he might have just bumped knees with somebody. <laughs> Will Smith slapping... No, it, it's just our team's crumbling, man. Free throw is up and good. If he's not out, I mean, maybe he just bumped knees and his knee locked up. That could have happened. But if I see him coming back in, I'm going to be so, I'll be like so happy. Here's Love, fires for three, and that is no good. Oh, yeah, look, we're finally seeing Moses Brown. Yay. Cavs up one. Anthony. Oh, pfft. Brown, nice, nice little swat away. Here's Okoro the other way. Don't hurt yourself now, Brown. Here's Love. Gives it to Okoro. 
Here's love to Levert. Love. <sighs> Another messy possession. No, they didn't. No. Wow. Wow. Uh, he probably will. This is ridiculous, man. I'm just going to keep watching that bench to see if I see Lowry sitting on the bench or coming in because we might have just got lucky. Kicks it out. Wide open for three is good. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. Wow. Here's Garland, guarded by Wendell Carter. Love to the corner for Levert. Levert lost the ball, but he got it back. And there's a tie-up. Oh, he took a timeout. Okay. Well, Lowry got hurt. Mobley got hurt. But I didn't immediately see Lowry you know, going to the locker room. I think he was like doing the bike thing, which is just off, uh, just off screen. Man, I was so happy, and then... <laughs> no, I, it's illegal, man. It's illegal for me to be happy. It's illegal for me to be happy watching this team. I was having so much fun earlier this year. I mean, if you watch my earlier streams, man, I was having so much fun. <sighs> well, cooked. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, we're prob. I mean, I guess on the bright side, if we lose in the play-in, we keep our freaking draft pick. And then we can just go into next year with vengeance on our mind, you know. But Raptors are winning fifty to forty-nine. Bulls are winning forty-five forty-four. So we all know how this is gonna go. Raptors and Bulls are probably gonna win because the Cavs can never get help from anybody. No, no other teams want to help out my squad. Nope. <laughs> Not even having fun anymore. Heading back to the locker room with trainer Steven Spiro. That trainer, man, he is, he's been a busy, busy guy lately. He's been super busy lately. Freaking losing to a 20-win team. <laughs> oh. Can't even... Can't even make it up. Like, honestly, I mean, at this point... I don't even know. Yeah... Joe Gilbert on Twitter essentially put it up perfectly. The 2015 Cavs had some of the worst injury luck I've seen. This team blows that away by a country mile and then some. Wow. Chris Archer and the Twins? Oh, wow, I forgot about him. Well, <laughs> injuries freaking suck. Hate it. All right, so let's see if the Cavs can rally around here and try to do something. Here's a deep three. Yeah, oh, that's off and a 24 second violation. Yay! <sighs> We're going to really lose to the Magic. Wow. Well, right, here comes Wagner. He'll take it up the floor against Levert. Look at that. No rim protection at all. Here's a three. That's off. Rebounded by Levert. Here's Levert. Gives it to Love. Back to Karras. Corner for Okoro. Drives baseline. Corner for Garland. Love. Garland. 
Step back. Fires for two is no good. Rebounded by Okoro. Here's Love in the corner. That's short. 6.50 to go. Here's a three. No good. Rebounded by Moses Brown. He'll give it to Garland. Garland will take it up the floor. He fires and got it. Need Kevin to take over here, man. <sighs> Wendell Carter gives it off to Hampton. Took him a little bit to settle down and get set. And that gave Garland a chance to at least rush the shot. He still missed. Okoro goes up and the foul and one. Don't hurt yourself. Can't have any more injuries. <laughs> Every time someone goes to the ground, I'm going to be... Waiting for him to jump back up because it's like, obviously they, they, they be laying there like this, waiting for the guys to come over and help him up. Uh, just our luck, though. Just our luck. In the midst of a playoff push, fans are getting excited. You know, the Rock, the rock essentially is bumping again, and oh, here comes the injuries. I don't know if you blame the training staff or something, but like I don't know if you can really blame the training staff for knee and you know finger inadvertent injuries like that. Now if it was like hamstrings and stuff, then yeah. Like soft tissue. Oh, blocked by Moses. I mean if it was like a bunch of hamstring injuries and soft tissue, yeah, that, then you'd blame the you can blame the training staff for that. But these are like we're talking knee, meniscus, ankle, finger can't really blame the training staff for that. That's just inadvertent. Banging knees together. You know, hitting your finger on the freaking rim. Like, you really can't blame anybody but luck on that. Like, someone put a hex on the calves this year, I swear. I don't know. I don't know what it is, you know. I do recall I was in a sports theory stream where they were doing predictions and they all had us going sixth. And I think the injury, get the basketball gods took that to heart. Because I think at the time we were like fourth or something. <laughs> I'm going to blame them. I'm going to blame sports theory for that. <laughs> no. I'm just going to blame our injury luck. Our luck. We have the worst luck ever. You know? Is this punishment for the Browns trading for Deshaun Watson? I don't even know this happened way before. The Allen injury happened way before Deshaun was traded. Deshaun was acquired. Misses both free throws in horrendous fashion. Cavs will take it up. Okoro rushes up there and he misses the easy layup. Just unlucky roll. Man, we are so lucky. <laughs> God, we have the worst luck in all spots. Injury luck. You know, foul luck. We'll get no no helpful fouls at all. None at all. Stevenson or Stevens. Garland. The love and the flush to Moses. Moses. Dude, Moses can actually be. It's an 8 0 run. Cavs are up by six. Is that Laurie coming back or is that Dylan Windler? I couldn't tell. That's Laurie, bro. That's lit. Here's Anthony to the corner. Good closeout. Oh, Brown almost blocked that. Just a little late on the uh, chase down. Oh, no, that's Windler. Okay. I didn't see the neon shoes. Oh, step back. Oh, I thought Levert was going to hit him with a step back. Levert kicks it out. Garland for three. Good for three. Oh, damn, that's Curry range. Ooh, God, there he is. That's from, like, he hit that from Euclid, bro. Damn. Here's Anthony. Around a screen. Nice defense by Moses to shut it down. And then run at him, but yeah. 4 15 and counting here in the third. It was a. Uh, he banged knees, I think. Pass to La Lamar. Oh, God! And then Lamar lands on his back. That's the, He landed pretty hard. This 
contorting his wrist. <laughs> what did we do to deserve this? Call this the body bag game because everyone getting hurt. <laughs> or cursed or something like. That's just inadvertent again. Oh, he landed on his wrist. I. And they're gonna. Call, they're looking for a flagrant foul on Bamba. It was his offhand too. It's always the offhand. Doesn't even make me feel any better either. First Evan, then Lowry, now Lamar. He got caught on the rim. Just like, remember what happened to Dylan Windler a while back? Goes up, gets fouled, falls backward, and land on, lands on his left arm. His left arm was sandwiched between hardwood and, well, his body. I'll tell you one thing, though. Lamar ain't gonna... Lamar's a tough son of a gun, man. I don't know, man. Probably doesn't feel too great, but he'll probably shake it off. Probably hurts a little, hurts a little bit. He's on, the, he's on the bench there. Just chilling. What's up, Eric? We're having fun over here. Oh, yeah. So much fun. Guys are getting hurt left and right. I'm having a blast. I'm going to check the uh, YouTube thing here just to make sure we're cooking over there, too. Yep, we're good. So they're looking to see if it was a flagrant on Bamba. And we should be getting an announcement here momentarily. Lamar will shoot two free throws, so not a flagrant. Because it was, it was inadvertent. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to. Well, it was Lamar, but Lamar looks to be all right. He's like, you know, moving around his next, uh, his left hand. Looks to be all right. I'm not really sure. We'll see how he shoots these free throws. If he looks like he can't hold the ball with his left hand, then yeah, he, he's probably sprained wrist. He's over there, like, moving his wrist around, trying to flex it. Well, the good thing is he didn't immediately come out. He clinched a playoff berth. Wow. So here's the free throw. The two free throws for Lamar. First one's good. I'm just happy it wasn't a shooting hand. Then we really would have been we would have we would have really been cooked if it was a shooting hand. But he looks to be all right. Second free throw, up and good. Well, the good news is he's not coming out because they don't have anyone waiting on the bench for him. So that's good. Oh, what the heck? Or drop frames again? <laughs> Goes up and in. Cavs up five. It's just a simple matter of how scoring the opponent now, because yeah, we don't have, we have no rim protection. Garland drives around. Here's Lamar fires for three. That's no good. That would have been lit if he would have made that. That would have gotten the place bumping. Kicks it out. Here's a pass for three. That's off. Rebounded by Windler. Don't hurt yourself, windshield. Call him windshield because he's essentially made of glass. That dude has not played a whole year because of injuries. This year, though, he was mainly in the G League. But, yeah. Garland. Kicks it out. Okoro. Windler in the corner. That's no good. Putback is good, though, by Moses. Dude, Moses actually putting up good numbers, you know, coming off the bench. He might even earn a multi-year deal from us. Who knows? And then there he missed the three. Here comes Garland the other way. Garland kicks it out. And oh, I thought it was stolen. Oh, it was stolen. I thought it was kicking out, but. And a foul. I thought Lamar was trying to steal that. Uh, will we be able to finish the game or is the whole team going to get hurt? <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to finish the game. 
might have just got a tweet about Lori when the season's essentially over and you're you have nothing to play for except for the first round first overall pick all right so here's Goodwin to Levert to Goodwin here's Windler back to Goodwin still not even seeing Chetty on the floor that's crass Another careless turnover. Ball will go out of bounds. It'll stay with the magic. I don't know where Lowry is. He's probably not, he's probably not going to play the rest of the game, I'm sure. He was trying to walk off whatever happened to his knee. So he, he might have bumped it and his knee might have locked up. So it goes to the corner here. Drives up and good. T too easy for him. That's Brad Zekas. Three-point lead for the Cavs again. 2-12 and counting. Here's the vert. Kicks it out to Windler. Pass to Goodwin. Out to Levert. And he double dribbled and he traveled. Wow. This team is just... It's not even, like, funny anymore. Not even funny anymore. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Like, this is ridiculous. wonder how my stream's looking. Kicks it out. To the corner for three and short. Gives up the rebound. Up and we're down. We're up by one. The energy in this building, that building is almost completely gone. 24 points off turnovers. We have 11. We essentially have a G League squad out there with Kevin Love for the most part. Here's a two. It's too strong. Rebounded by Love. Muscles his way in there. Kevin, turn around. Jumper's good. Pretty much. <laughs> uh Pass inside. Over pursued a little bit. Here's a three in the corner. Is short. Love with the rebound. Comes Goodwin. Who gives it to Love. Love for three. That's no good. Rebounded. Oh, I thought it was going to be by Lamar. Don't hurt yourself again, Lamar. Cavs up three. Here's Brad Zekas. Stolen by Lamar. Ooh, Windler. Nice steal. Showing that vertical. Levert. For three. No. <laughs> yeah, just keep shot chucking, guys. That'll work out really well. That'll work out perfectly. Just keep shot chucking. Uh-huh. Good strat. Good strategy, guys. Just keep shot chucking. And we're up by one. Here's Goodwin. Got fouled. There's like no energy in that arena right now. I don't know why all of a sudden my freaking thing is acting all wonky now. Floaters, good, but it doesn't count. Up by one after three. <sighs> wow. A 27-21 third for the Magic. <sighs> wow. <laughs> We're probably going to wind up losing this game. Simply because we have no rim protection and we just can't stop them in the paint. You know? Like, this is ridiculous with all these injuries.
Kevin Love, the most durable man on the Cavs this season. Shush! He just hasn't been reckless with his uh, offense. He mainly lives at the three-point line. He doesn't go to the hole like these other guys do. That's where they all get hurt. They all get hurt driving to the paint. They look shell-shocked. I'd be shell-shocked too. Evan Mobley goes down. Laurie goes down. I haven't seen anything about Lori though. <sighs> Just happy it wasn't anything worse. I mean, it's an ankle sprain. Isn't that what uh, Rondo has? An ankle sprain? And he's been out like a week and a half, it seems like. At this point, it's like playing around, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Playing around, schmaying around. We're not even going to be limping to the playing round. We're going to be wheeled into the playing round on a friggin' wheelchair. Or on a gurney. We're going to have to have members of the Cleveland Charge playing on the playing in the playing game. Wait, what? Someone said... Hearing the Raptors broadcast on Twitter said, uh, hearing Raptors broadcast said, we're getting some good news when they heard Evan Mobley got injured. That obviously didn't happen. Right? Because if that did, that's so classless. But here's Garland. Gives it off to Love. Drives. Kicks it out. Okoro. And there's a foul called on Wagner. <sighs> so on the floor for the Magic is Fultz, Okiki, Brajikis, Wagner, Mo Wagner, and Schofield. And then for the Cavs, it's Stevens, Levert, Love, Okoro, and Garland. Still no sight of Markin on the on the side, though. They're probably going to hold him out for the rest of the game for precautionary reasons. But here's Garland. Garland drives. Goes up. And there, it'll be out of bounds, uh, Cavs ball. Isn't that something? I praise the Magic, saying that they have they have a nice little set, you know, a nice little team set up. And immediately we get hurt. Like, what, me praising the Magic causes us to have injuries? Like, is that how this, is that how this thing goes? And Levert misses the layup. <laughs> wow. Kicks it out. Schofield, and we're losing. 82-81 Magic. Garland to Levert. Drives, goes up, and he's fouled. Offensive foul. We're going to lose this game. We're really going to lose to the freaking Magic. Playing so well to start. But Mobley going out. Absolutely ridiculous. And now the refs are going to be like, oh no, we got to step in too. <sighs> wow. Wow. Team is unbearable right now. Here's Fultz. Goes up and and a foul. That's it. We're done. We're done. No rim protection. Guys are shot chucking again. Can't even make a simple layup. And then of course here comes the refs. Calling everything a foul. This is absolutely ridiculous. Free throw up and good. I'm going to turn off my camera for a second here. Internet's acting up. Whoop. Turn off the scoreboard. I'm going to turn off my camera. There we go. <sighs> Here's Levert. Drives. Up and good. Nice. 85-83.
Kicks it out. Here's a three. No good. Rebounded by Garland. Garland. Kicks it off to Levert. Oh, he had him. Oh, he, he's got him in the freaking. Oh, and he misses the shot. You had him in a freaking blender and you freaking couldn't make him pay for it. Classic Cavs. Do all those sick moves and you can't even sink the shot. Fultz against Okoro. Wide open. Misses the three. Cavs will take it up. 9.55 to go. Garland to Lamar who dunks it home. Man, I'm so happy to see Lamar still out there. Timeout magic. All right, I don't know why my freaking thing is going nuts all of a sudden. It was doing so well, so long. Can't fix anything there. Nope. Hmm. Oh, this whole thing is just nuts. Gonna have cruddy connection probably for the rest of the stream. I don't know why all of a sudden it decided to be crap. Unless maybe the weather outside is trash. That could be a factor. But typical. Right? Typical. And I can't fix anything without ending the stream. And I don't really want to end the stream right now. Oh, well. Oh, well. Drop frames. I don't know why I'm dropping frames all, all of a sudden. I was doing great for a while there. <laughs> Just sort of some dominoes. <laughs> yeah. Just waiting for the cursed Ken Ganley Kia commercial to show up. You know? It's not even funny at this point. The injuries that we've suffered this in this game. It's crazy. Like it's insane at this point. I'm going to check something. Let me take my freaking thing out here. Maybe this will help. There we go. Took out my little thing there. All right. So we're back. Here's Schofield. Bradzikis for three is no good. Got lucky there. Thought he was going to hit that. Coming the other way. Here's Garland. To Mark. Oh, Mark and it's back. Oh, God. Thank Oh, thank you, God. Levert, no good. Oh, nice save by Okoro, though. Marking in for three. Oh, yeah, okay. That knee probably doesn't feel right. Probably has to stretch it out and get back in the... Because he is probably a little rusty. He hasn't played in a while. In about a quarter or so. Just happy he's back out there. Here's a three. That's off. Rebounded by Levert. If you're wondering why my camera's off, it's because my uh, thing's been laggy, so it doesn't really help to have the camera on. Besides, you'd, I'd look like a robot and everything anyway. Here's Garland. 
I've never been so happy to see 24 out there. Step back. Fires. That's short. That's off. Yeah, guys. Let's just do shot chucking. That's a great idea. Here's Brad Zekius against Markinen. Up and there's a foul. We're going to really lose to the damn magic. We're going to lose to the freaking magic. <laughs> this team is not serious. Misses the free throw. We can't even get buckets right now. We try and doink, 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 doink. Clank, 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 clank. Makes the second one. One point lead for the Magic. 13 of 15 from the line are the Cavs. Magic are 7 of 13. Here's Garland. Here's Lavert marking in for three, and that rolls off the rim. <sighs> Looked like he was going to make it and just whoop off the rim. No good. And then they get an easy two. 7.43 to go. Cavs down three. No rim protection as usual because Mobley's out too now. Arlen drives, corner, marking in for three is good. Finally! Knew he just had to get his shot going again because he had been out for about a quarter and a half or so. Kicks it out. Oh, stolen by Okoro. He's in the clear and he's going to dunk it home. Cavs up two now. There you go, Isaac. Jump that route and take that sucker back to the other way. Looks like Lamar Stevens will be checking in next dead ball. Six, uh, we got seven minutes left. Cavs up two. Wagner. And we just let him get the two because two of the worst defenders, I think, ever are on the floor together. Mark and then Kevin Love. Lamar's actually a good defender. It's just... Here's Markinen. He was about to pull up again. Here's Levert. To Garland. Garland drives. Step back. Fires for two. And that's no good. For three. No hairball. Oh, God. Here comes Levert the other way. Got bump. No call, of course. Now, if, then he gets tripped up. No call again. But if we bumped him, they would have called the foul on us. They bump us, no foul. That's just the way it is, I guess. But Jacobs, hook shot, good. Five forty-six to go. <laughs> Sixty-two points in the paint. That's what happens when you don't have rim protection. No Mobley. No Allen. They could just own you in the paint. Here's love for three. Short. This bozo needs to stop shooting. He needs to stop. He, he. Kevin Love is going to shoot us out of this damn game with all these bricks, man. What's he shooting tonight? Four for 12 from three. He got 19 points. We can't have Markinen and Love on the floor, it seems like, because they're both bad at defense, and it's essentially a five on three. We're going to lose to the damn magic. We're going to lose to the freaking magic all because of the fact that we ain't got no rim protection because the injury gods freaking hate us. I'm just happy marketing came back because he'll give us a, some semblance of rim protection. Well, we do have rim protection, but Jamie doesn't like to play him. We're just chucking threes again. This dude, Kevin Love, is shooting 9 of 4, 4 of 12 from 3. Getting cooked by a dude named Ignas. Ignas Brzezinkis. Really? 13 points for Brzezinkis? 
It's uh, 6556 New York, up uh, in midway, almost midway through the third. And uh, just past halfway through the third, it looks like Toronto is losing. So, of course, we're going to lose probably, but Chicago and Toronto are probably going to lose too. At least I hope they are. Why are you being so negative? Because look at the way our, look at the way we're playing. No energy. No, we have no rim protection. We went from having three seven footers to one, and the one seven footer does not do defense. <laughs> defense is not a specialty. Like, isn't that crazy? Three seven foot. We had three guys who could shoot threes. Okay, I'm gonna turn my uh, thing back on. Let's see if. Keep having drop frames though. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Wasn't happening before. Oh well. It's ridiculous. Like, Lamar Stevens, I think, is coming in, so that'll give us a little bit of defense too, I think. But Love should not really be in there. I mean, he's only in there for three pointers. We're essentially playing five on three on defense. Levert. Levert's alright on defense. I mean he's been best. He's been pretty good. Wish his shots would fall though. He only has eight points. Four or fifteen from the field. And you think he's still trying to get it going, but next five opponents, Mavs, Hawks, Knicks, Sixers, Magic. God. You don't like Levert? I can understand that. You know, you, you wanted him to, like... A lot of Cavs fans wanted him to come in and just drop 30 points a night. Which isn't going to happen. Well, let's see how this goes. As the Magic will take it up, up to... Here's Doughton. Gives it inside. Oh, Kiki misses. Windler goes for the rebound. He'll get it. And here comes Garland the other way. He's going to run in. And he'll lose the ball. But it'll stay with the Cavs. Out of bounds, it'll stay with the Cavs. I know Garland's got to be sick because he has no lob threat. <laughs> Not even Mobley. 5 one to go. Windler to inbound. He'll get it off to Garland. Garland. What are you doing, Darius? What are you doing? What was that strategy you had? And there's a turnover. Garland's going to hustle. Go over and get it. Here's Markinen. Little tie-up over there. Windler. Out to Markinen. Top of the key. is good for three. We're not even playing Chetty, bro. We're missing guys. Let's not play Chetty. God, Chetty must have really messed up again. Damn. Chetty's been the catalyst of so many good runs for us, too. Here's Brad Zikas. Wagner against Lamar Stevens. Doughton. Kicks it over to Wagner. Oh, he lost the ball! Winner takes it away, and they're going to call a foul. I believe on the Magic. Yeah, it was a turnover on Mo Wagner. I believe the foul was on the Magic. Yeah, it was a foul on Mo Wagner. Uh, after the steal. Look at Dylan Windler getting a big... Getting a steal. Here's Okoro. Gives it to Markinen. He's going to drive. Goes up. And he's fouled. I've never been so happy to see 24 out there, but dude, you gotta play some defense, man. Use your size. <laughs> ben Simmons, yeah. If we had a, if we had Ben Simmons, that'd have been nuts. But he can't shoot, so yeah. But his defense is good, though. He's a good passer, just can't shoot. I want to see what Ben Simmons does in Brooklyn when he plays, eventually. Free throws up, and the first one's good. 3.55 to go. Two-point lead. You got one more free throw. Cavs need to get it going here. 
Second free throw is up and good. My dog is losing his mind over something right now. I don't know why. Oh well. Here's in the uh, corner. Bradzikis kicks it out to the corner. Doughton for three is no good. Rebounded. Foul on the floor. I believe it's on the Magic based off of the Magic fan, Magic player's reaction. Hang on. Well, anyways, it's three-point lead. 3.22 to go. Bad pass. Cavs ball. Let's go. 3.18 to go. The dog is pissed off by the Cavs. No, for some reason, my dog is really pissed at vacuums. If you even touch the vacuum, he loses his mind. I don't know what, the vac what a vacuum did at his old... Residents or whatever, because uh, we actually got him from the Amish. And they don't use technology, so I don't know what the heck happened there, but okay. But here's Garland. Garland drives. Floater or mid-range is good. Ooh, fade away mid-range. Ooh, baseline. Ooh. Okay, DG. How many points does he have? 20. Here's a three. That's no good. Rebounded by Windler. 2.41 to go. Garland will take it up the floor. 2.35 to go. Garland at the logo. Drives. Step back. Fires for three. Bang. Got it. <laughs> ha. Ha. Damn. We needed that. It's no coincidence. All the problems started as soon as we got Levert. Chemistry means something. We got about 225 to go. We needed that, man. Darius Garland, man. We need him to take over. Uh, so Darius has 23 points. And 7 of 17 from the field, 5 of 10 from 3. That's his dad. I was going to say, there ain't no way we lose into the damn magic. <laughs> Someone on Twitter said, maybe we should host the Nets before the, uh, for the play-in so Kyrie can burn Sage before the freaking play-in game. Oh, man. Yeah, doing so would probably inadvertently get rid of our bad luck, too. I don't know when Rondo will be back. He was doubtful like a week ago and then I haven't heard anything about him since. He's, a, he's essentially a coach at this point. <laughs> no, I do not want him on our team. No, I do not want Enos Freedom on our team. God. That's all I need. An outspoken wannabe politician on my squad. Yeah, how about no, thank you. No, thank you. So, 2.25 to go. Not going to really turn off the scoreboard. I would only do that if the game was like insanely close at the end. 2.20. The Magic have not scored in the last three and a half minutes. Plus. Here's Bradzikis around the screen. Kicks it out. Her drive. Puts up, gets blocked, and Markkanen alters the shot. And he'll take it up. Here comes Garland. Corner for Windler for three. Oh, he, that kid's like, I. Ah, he, he wanted to hit that so bad, but it is what it is. Kicks it out. Stolen by Lamar now, and he's fouled. That should be a clear path. Dude, we got some. The two best defenders on our team are so good at jumping the route. Look, just jumps in front. We have Magic tried to, uh. Pass it behind him. 
So they're looking to see if there's a clear path. I think it was. It looked like it was. He was kind of behind him, but knowing these refs, they're going to say he wasn't completely behind him. Cavs up by eight now, with a minute 49 to go. Hmm. He might have been in front of him. What's up, Kent? He's an Amish dog. Hates a. I could be it. Maybe he just hates everything electricity. Because you run the blender or anything with a motor, he goes nuts. So that's probably what it is. Never heard it before. Before now. Like if you run a drill or a blender, he goes nuts. <laughs> So we got the refs. They're talking about it. Let's see what they come up with. Yeah. Common foul. Oh, well. Figured they were going to do that to us. But yeah, Cavs are up eight. Minute 49 to go. See if we can uh, put this one to bed. There's Jamal Mosley talking to one of his other coaches. Uh, Jared Allen should be back right before the end of the season. Maybe before the start of, uh, like, maybe, like, right into April a little bit. Haven't heard much, though. But we'll see what happens. Shouldn't be too long. I appreciate the uh, support, though, Kent. Minute 39 to go. Garland up ahead to marking it out to Windler. Corner for Lamar. Lamar straddles baseline. Kicks it out. Oh, nice pass. Oh, pass to Markinen. He drives. Floater is short. Rebounded by Lamar. Damn, nice save. Cavs will keep it. Here's Garland at the top. Right by the timeline. Her drive. The lob. Oh, the flush to Lori. Oh, God. I wish you would have flushed it harder, but that was okay. I'm not trying to get greedy here. At least you put it through. That was a nice lob, though. I've never seen Lowry get up that high, though. <laughs> Damn. Up by 10. Here's a three. That's no good. Save back to Wagner. Or is that a Breitzikas? And there's a three in the corner. Less than a minute to go. Cavs up seven. Garland will take it up the floor. Gives it off to Okoro. To the corner for Windler. Windler back to Okoro. Here's Garland. Garland at the logo. Double team coming. Shakes off the double team. Here's Okoro. Corner. Marking it for three. Ooh. Damn it. Ball doesn't drop. Just roll it. Rims out. Here's a three. Okay. Now it's a four point game. Of course. We miss, they make. Classic stuff. Now they're going to do the foul thing. So simple as this make your damn free throws. Of course, you know. Of course this happens. We miss, they make. I've never seen Lori get up that high before, but okay. That lob was nice, though. <laughs> yeah, Evans hurt. Uh, he hurt his ankle in the second quarter. That's why his point total is so low. He uh, went up, and I think he landed on Franz Wagner's foot. And, yeah, so he's got an ankle sprain. I don't know when he'll be back. Maybe it's not that serious, but I don't know. Well, 22 seconds to go. Cavs up by, what is it, six? Up by six. So, essentially, no matter what, now the Magic are going to play the foul game. Simply put, just make your free throws. And we can come out with this with a W. 23 points, 12 assists. 7 of 17 from the field. 3 steals in 40 minutes. His 26th double-double. And he also has a triple-double this year in case you forgot. Never forget, Ricky Rubio was literally one assist shy of a, of a triple-double too this year. Then he got hurt in that game. It seems like our season has gone downhill ever since Rubio got hurt. Because we had to trade for Rondo... And then 
it's like ever since then it's like it's been just a mess but I mean everyone's dealt with injuries this year but this is just crazy score updates uh ooh 77 69 I said Yankees Knicks over the Bulls 246 left in the third so of course you know they play us the Bulls play us they look amazing they play every other team they suck <laughs> you can't even make that up but of course, you know, we were missing Jared Allen, but damn, like, seriously. If we had Colin Sexton, who knows? Oh, God. Dude, the Warriors are losing by damn near 30. Oh, Rocha got to be sick. Ugh. Rocha's got to be feeling horrendous right now. My God. But yeah, 23, 3, and 12. Here's a three. That's good. Of course, they're going to make everything. It's a three-point lead. Here's Garland. And we got... Free throws coming up is DG. We'll go to the line for two more shots. That's five. Yeah, uh, Schofield has five fouls. I didn't even realize. So he better make these free throws because if he if he doesn't, we're in trouble. All right. Here we go. Free throws coming up for Darius. First one is up and good. There's a look at the, if the playoffs started right now, we would be playing the Hornets, who have jumped into the uh, eighth seed. I'd rather play the Hornets, to be honest, than the Nets. That'd be a fun game, especially if we have Jared Allen back. 12 seconds to go. Here's a three. That's off. No good. Rebounded by Windler. And that's a foul, so uh, just make these two free throws and we can go home and we can get that dub. We can go home with a a good W, despite the fact we lost uh, Evan Mobley for probably a week or so. Hopefully it's not too bad. They said it was a left ankle sprain for Mobley. I don't know how bad of it is, how bad it is. We'll probably know more in the morning. Free throw up and good for Windler. And how about that? Dylan Windler actually contributing with points. He has five points. He has five points. Free throw number two is no good. And that... Oh, he lost the ball, but... Bringing it up the floor. And they're just going to dribble it out. As the Cavs pull off the... Uh, very gritty W. Hard-fought win. Lost Evan Mobley. Lamar got banged up. Laurie got banged up, but came back. Hit a couple big threes for us. But you see Jalen Suggs there. Showing love with Darius. Like I said earlier. And hopefully, this is a, hopefully it's like the, you know, the, the least uh, serious one. <laughs> but yeah, like I said earlier, Magic, man. You, if there's any Magic fans in here, you guys got a squad. All you maybe need is maybe one more draft. One more good draft pick, and you guys are set if you guys can stay healthy. But, yeah, um, Cavs win, 107-101. It's good to get back in the win column. Fans all over the world. Cavs win. Cavs win. Yes, sir. We needed this big time. So let's go through the stat sheet like always. You already know how we do it here. Uh, for the Magic, led with 15 points from Wendell Carter Jr. 11 apiece for Mo Bamba. And then yeah, Cole Anthony. And then 10 for Franz Wagner. Franz Wagner. And then you also had 6 for RJ Hampton. Off the bench, they had a lot of con contributions from their bench tonight. Uh, but Zika said 13. 11 for Markel Fultz. 10 for Schofield. Seven for Okiki. Okay, Do you love me? <laughs> no. Five for Doughton. Doughton. And then two for Mo Wagner. <laughs> Mo Wagner. Yeah. And then uh, Lopez, Ross, and Harris did not play. Man, I wish they would have traded Ross, Harris, bro. Or Ross. I would have loved one of those two on the Cavs. But no. We're going to be stingy and we're not going to trade them to you. No, no, no. Not even Robin Lopez. <laughs> like, they're not even playing. 
Like, you could have traded them for something, but no, let's not trade them for anything. Let's just let them sit on the bench and gather dust. Uh, could have traded them for us, to us for something. <laughs> but no, let's not cooperate. And all we got is damn Karis Car Lahert. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Now for the Cavs, 25 for Garland, 20 points for Markinen. 11 for Okoro, 8 for Levert, and of course 6 for Evan Mobley, who uh, went out with an injury. And the thing is, like he, when he went out, he actually was 3 of 3 from the field, too. So 6 points for him. He was the only... Oh, no, uh, Levert was minus 13, but... Yeah, not having Mobley or Allen out there really affected our defense. Again, of course. But yeah, he got 6 points. Hopefully he's all right. I know Scotty Barnes fan, and Raptors and Pistons fans are going to see that and go, hey, he sucks. Like, dude, he's hurt. And I'm like, ah, he's hurt. Yeah, Scotty going win rookie of the year because Mobley can't stay healthy. It's like, but then when he's healthy, he dominates. It's pretty sad how you have to root for someone to be hurt for your guy to have a chance at anything, right? Now, uh, 11 for Okora, which was huge, of course. But off the bench, 19 points for Kevin Love. 19 points for Kevin. We needed that. Six points for Lamar Stevens. Five for Windler. I think it's like a season high for him. Four for Brown. And then three for Goodwin. And yet we still choose to not play Chetty. We're playing Windler over Chetty. What did Chetty do, bro? JB, what did Chetty do? What did he do? Did you catch him like slipping or something? Like, was he being a nutcase at practice? Or is it because he's in another funk? I mean, last time he was in a funk, he came out and shot the lights out, so... Maybe they're, oh, they're just resting him for the playoff. Huh? No. No, we're not in any position to do that. If you can get buckets, you better be playing. That's all I'm saying. Especially now. Because we need all the bucket getters we could get. So, good news, guys. 81-75, Knicks after three. And about... Nearing midway through the fourth, 91-87 Boston over Toronto. So I'm just going to say this. If there's any Knicks or Celtics fans maybe peeping in, um, let's go Knicks. Um, uh, let's go Celtics. <laughs> oh, man, I need, I need those two teams to win. I need Knicks and Celtics to win. The only time I'm going to be rooting for them because I just want to catch up to the damn Raptors. You know, maybe the Bulls too. That'd be nice. But that's going to wrap it up. And be sure to hit the like button as you head out. And I will see you all, uh, not tomorrow, because there's no basketball tomorrow. In a couple days, probably, for a Cavs. Oh, yeah, the, tw the 30th. I'll see you all, what is today, the freaking Monday? So Wednesday, yeah. I'll see you all Wednesday, the 30th, for Cavs, Mavs. <laughs> and then the 31st, for Cavs and Hawks. So, uh, did I update my schedule? Let me see if I updated my schedule. I gotta make sure I see if I did. If not, that's whatever. Jokic triple double? Hey, yo. I don't think I updated it. No, I don't think I did. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, well. Not really much there. So, with that being said, guys, I'll see you all uh, on Wednesday for Cavs and Mavs. Again. Final score from whoops. Final score from tonight. Cavs win 107-101. Now we just gotta wait to see how serious the ankle sprain is for Mobley. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully he'll probably miss a game or two. Or maybe three or a week. But yeah, we need him big time. Of course, Allen's probably gonna be coming back soon and we lose Mobley. You can't make this up. You really can't. Like, what did we do to deserve this? I, I'm literally asking, like, what did we do to deserve this garbage? Who put a hex on us? Did I do something wrong? Like, did I say something previously that triggered, like, a hex to activate and make our team just fall apart? Did I, like, guarantee something? Did I say something like, imagine if we had all these injuries? Oh, nah, 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 nah. Did I, like, say something bad about somebody? Like, what did I do? 
Because if I did, I'm sorry. Okay, basketball guys? I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> God. I know the Bulls are losing. Yep. Need the... I have never prayed on a team's downfall so hard like I am now with the Bulls and the Raptors. Uh, I need I need the I need the Celtics and the Knicks to come up clutch. But that's gonna wrap it up. I'll see you all on Wednesday for Cavs and Mavs. And uh, until then, we'll see what the Browns do. Um, I don't think they're gonna make any more, many more moves. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they made a move like right now. Check my phone after the stream and I see we sign somebody. <laughs> Imagine. But if they do, I'll make a video about it. You know? Um, but yeah, man. Camp season's getting closer. Of course, I'll be doing probably draft content and stuff. Like, probably a week or so before the draft, I might do, like, some draft prospect videos. Maybe doing, like, uh, what I did for the free agency, but for the draft. Top five, you know, draft picks that I think we could get in the second round. It's going to be tougher because we don't have a first-round pick. So, I'm going to head out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the hit the bell when you uh, on your way out. And uh, see you all Wednesday. I'm crazy dog. Let's go Cavs. I'm out. <sighs> Got a dub. But God, man, like this sucks. Can't have a win without someone without something bad happening. At least it's a win. It was tougher than it than I thought, but yeah. <sighs> Just got to get healthy. Just got to get healthy. You know? All right. I'm out. Bye-bye, guys. See you Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> X-ray was negative? It was? Wait, let me see something here. Well, that's good. That just shows that there's no breaking. It's probably just like a sprain. You'll probably miss like a couple games. Let me see something. I got to see this real quick. Because... Windler Junkyard Dog Award recipient. Yeah. Garland asked Deshaun Watson for... Okay. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> oh, the massage jokes are already starting. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> X-rays were negative on Mobley's uh, sprained left ankle. So that's good. Negative is always a good thing. That's the only time a negative is a good thing. Man. <laughs> negative is a positive and a positive is a negative. That's so weird. You know, it's the only time I want to be negative. Let's get negative. Yeah. Well, that means he won't be out probably too long. If anything, he'll probably miss a couple games. But we'll see. We'll probably get a better idea tomorrow. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm out of here. I'll see you all later. All right? Have a good night. Bye-bye.